It states that this figure is not drawn to, to scale. It tells me that line segment QR, QR has a length of 12, and rectangle MPQT, MPQT is a square. So we know these are right angles, and we know that all four sides have the same length, we just don't know what that length is. Now, if this is a right angle, that means this is gonna be a right angle too. And what else does that tell me? I know the area of MPRS, MPRS, the big area is 540. And I know that um, what else do I know? I know that this whole length here is x plus 12. You agree with that? And that the way to find the area of the whole thing, which is 540, is to take the length times the width. So x times x plus 12 gives me 540. And if I can solve for x, then I can multiply it by 12 and I'll have the area of this triangle, that rectangle, what I'm trying to figure out. So this is x squared plus 12x equals 540. And this is x squared plus 12x minus 540 equals zero. And this is awful because we've got a factor 540 and I think we should just bite the bullet and look at factors of 540. Of course, that's 10 times 54 and that's a five and a two and a 54 is a nine, so what? Uh, 27 times two and of course that's a three squared. Okay. So, you know that it's going to have to be where the difference is 12. So, I could try like, I don't know. We could try, um, hmm. What times what is, let's see, going to 540. What about X and an X? We know it's not, you know it's not 10 and 54 because if you put a 10 here and a 54 here, the difference is not 12, so we know that's not right. Let me erase that 10. So, what about a nine times a two, which is 18, nine times two is 18. Let's try 18 here. And 18 will go into 540 how many times? That's three times eight is 24, three, that's gonna be 30. That's it, 18 times 30 because the difference is 12, and I want it to be a positive 12, so put a plus sign there and a minus sign there, zero. So this gives me x equal 18, because x equal negative 30, we can't have a negative width or distance, whatever. So x is 18, x is 18, 18, 18, hold on a second, I've lost something. Oh, x is 18, so, now if I take, this is 18 here. If I take 18 times 12, 18 times 12, two times eight is 16. You can stop right there because you only have one inch. No, you got two inches that didn't live in 16, that end in 16. Two to make 16, that's gonna be a three, that's gonna be a one and an eight. That's gonna be six, eight, nine, 10, 11, two, 16. So your answer is B.